Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to look at the topic of accents and how you can improvise using accents. Now, the controllable properties of music would be pitch. You can decide whether you want to play high stuff or low stuff. You can also control volume, so that would be loud, soft, loud, soft. You can also control the durations of notes, long note, short note. These are the three controllable things. So in this lesson, we are going to focus on the topic of pitch and we will take note groupings and the note groupings are going to hail from a nice scale. I like minor a lot. So if you like minor, you're definitely going to enjoy this lesson. So stay tuned till the very end because alongside our note phrases or our melodic phrases in the right hand, we are going to bring in the left hand to build up or boost our hand independence and combination skills. And at the end of the lesson, you're hopefully going to have a new perspective towards improvisation, which uses a lot of maths concepts, strangely enough. Improv is not just playing without a thought. You have to have a thought, you have to plan and you have to focus on something, some aspect of music which can inspire you. So if you don't have something in mind, you can't really improvise. And sometimes we tend to overthink about improvisation. Improvisation, if you ask me, is just fast composition. Similarly, uh, composition could be called as slow improvisation. Think, so the two, the two things you do in music are pretty related or pretty similar, right? And don't forget to get yourselves a copy of the handwritten notes and the staff notation. It will give you pretty much all the patterns that this lesson has to offer. And if you haven't already, don't forget to turn on the subscribe button and the bell icon for regular notifications. Let's get cracking. So the first note set I have for you in the right hand will be the first first five notes of the C natural minor scale or pretty much any C minor scale. If you take the natural, harmonic minor, Dorian or whichever, it's C, D, E flat, F, G. You could do this on any minor. I just like minor more than major when I improvise. So these five and the groupings are going to be based on sets of two, three, four, five and maybe even six but I'm going to stick primarily with two, three, four, five. A good way to get acquainted with it is using a counting method which we use a lot in India called Konakol. I'll get to that shortly but what is a set of two notes? If you look at these five, this is a set of five. So to make it two, you just do C and D. To make it a set of three, C, D, E flat, C, D, E flat, F, that would be a set of four. C, D, E flat, F, G, so set of two, set of three, set of four, set of five. And from the purpose of piano fingering or even any instrument, it could be guitar fingering or whatever, you have all the notes in your radar, so to speak. So you have these five and set of two, we'll just use first two. Set of three will use the three. Set of four will use the four. Set of five will use the five. Now to bring all of this together, we will use some counting principles and then add those numbers together to become time signatures. Okay, and thus creating some interesting accents or accented groupings of phrases. So if you take the two group, first of all, the one group is also there, but it's rather boring. We can say tha, tha, tha. But if you take two, which is CD, you can use tuck, 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 tuck. So the tha kind of becomes the accent, while tuck, tuck, the ker becomes a more diminished kind of beat, at least the way we speak it. Tuck, 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 tuck. Now, if you do tuck it, which is three, tuck it, tuck it. There needs to be some emphasis on something. More so the tha of the takita. Takita, takita. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One. Two. So we have tha, tak, 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 takita, takita, takita. Then we have 
tak de me tak de me tak that set of four tak de me tak juno 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 that's your set of four you can say the tak de me or tak juno tak de me 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 tak juno ta Okay, and then set of five. There are a few options. Taka gi na to, taka gi na to. That that's a five word with those syllables. Taka gi na to, or ta di gi na to. You can do that all. Ta di gi na to, taka gi na to. These are just unique syllables given to each of your phrases and each note of the phrase. and it just sounds and feels good and more importantly doesn't become a tongue twister for when you count it out imagine saying 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 very fast it's very difficult so you would rather use these syllables which are easy on the tongue so to speak so uh, you can if you're confused with tak gina to you can make it as 2 plus 3 equals 5 or else 3 plus 2 equals 5 so tak tak it tak tak it tak tak it or takita taka 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 gena to the whole word taka gena to 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 ta so before we get to combining them and improvising with them let's look at other note sets or note combinations i have already thus far introduced you to c d e flat f g which is 1 2 3 4 5 of the c minor scale the other note set i have for you would be the simple minor pentatonic which we use a lot during you know solos and improvisation and even melody making in general so that would be root third flat perfect fourth perfect fifth minor seven that's these five notes right here c e flat f g b flat okay and a nice thing about the pentatonic scale is you can invert it as well you can start on the e flat or on the f which is the fourth degree or the g which is the perfect fifth okay For now I'm just going to start with the root. Okay so how do we build our phrases? Tak 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 ta. Okay? Takita Tak dimi Tak dimi tak dimi tak juno tak dimi tak juno tak dimi 5 tak gena to tak gena to tak gena to tak gena to ta. Okay? So that's your next combo of notes. C E flat F G B flat Now another combination I have for you would just be a chord so let's start with a C minor chord so a C minor chord you can play it either like this thumb middle and pinky or else thumb index and middle index and middle will be nice because you can add two more notes with the other waiting fingers so you can play tak 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 which is two tak ta what about takita 3 takita 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 tak now for 4 it gets very interesting you can do tak dimi tak dimi you can add that aeolian 6th or the minor 6th tak dimi tak juno tak dimi or you can go minor 7th or you can just go a full octave C E flat G C right C E flat G C so that's your full octave tak de mi tak de mi tak juno tak de so you can go flat 6 on the top flat 7 on the top and the perfect octave and if you're doing a note combination of five notes you can add your pinky to play the octave there and you can float around with either the a flat ring or the b flat ring 1234512345 okay so again the minor chord 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 and four combos five tak 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 it tak tak it tak gena to tak gena gena to tak gena to The words are very helpful. Keeps you in the loop. 
Mm. Okay, so now the fun is going to begin where I'm sure you're guessing it already. We are going to put these numbers together and try to get something going on the piano. And I'm also going to introduce you to some left hand patterns. Our left hand has been rather sleepy so far. So let's start with our original set of notes. which are these five and let's tell ourselves okay the most common time signature is 4 by 4 let's play it with eighth note so then you're going to have eight beats in a cycle right now how do we group those eight beats normally if if you're given an option you're probably going to go 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 now that's one way now this is nice if you vary maybe the top note between the 4 and the 5 but it's very repetitive and very redundant and there are no offbeat accent hit points right it's just one on 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 so to improve the process we can use these conical syllables or different groupings so just do the math eight could be grouped as 3 meets 3 meets 2 3 plus 3 equals 6 6 plus 2 equals 8 so what is the three group c d e flat So two of those one two three one two three one two. So the one two will be C D. So let's do that. One two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two. So you're automatically getting some interesting melodic movement going on. And if I just complement it with a drone in the bass, starting off with a C perhaps. There we go. I think a lot more interesting than doing one. Well, that's also nice, but that would be four plus four. So to do this, takka dimi, takka juno, takka dimi, takka juno, takka dimi. While what we did earlier, one two three, one two three, one two one two three, one two three, one two one two three, one two three, one two one. What about flipping those numbers around a bit? Let's do the two at the beginning now. One two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two one two. Or tak tak it tak it tak tak it tak it tak. So earlier we did tak it tak it tak tak it tak it tak tak it tak it tak tak. Now tak tak it tak it tak tak it. Or what if we put the two in the middle? That's interesting. Takita taka takita takita taka takita takita taka takita taka takita. And this will all sound nice when you do the pulse and different patterns or groupings in the left hand as well. I'm going to show you that very shortly. So let's do that slowly. Takita taka takita takita taka takita. Tak two three one two one two three one two three one two one two three one. Okay, now feel it in the head. So the accent is created using the pitch because you're always coming back to the to unity, which is C, and that C is the rep is a repeating motion, and that creates the accent at those points. Accent means. change change with respect to everything around it at least in music that's what we call that's what we understand an accent by so an accent could be defined as a change with respect to everything in and around it before and after so in this sense accent is pitch change because you are always coming back to unity and then adding the other notes so another way to look at eight could be maybe 3 meets 5 or 5 meets 3 so we have a set of five notes as well right and we have a word also taka gina to so let's do 5 meets 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 
we've looked at um, 332 we've looked at um, 233 we've looked at 323 and now we've looked at 5 meets 3 or 3 meets 5 now with all this how do we reinforce the sound or the vibe of the music with our left hand there are three options for you to try out first off if you're rather new to the piano and you're finding this a bit daunting to keep the counting going in the right hand i would suggest just maintaining a simple drone in the left hand so something like maybe we pick four notes c a flat b flat f c a flat b flat f a nice set of notes part of the natural minor so one two so if we are doing 3 meets 5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 just hold it down for the whole eight beats or the whole bar of four 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 
of and that's what creates a groove when you have something repeatable and then something which is groovy here which has an accented or these focuses on the offbeat hits so this will be a bit tough to practice so i would suggest move your head with the pulse one and count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and then count the corner call tak it tak it jun tak it tak gin to tak it tak gin tak it tak i'm doing three meets five no and now one two three one two three four five one two three one two three one two three one two three four five one two there we go matter what there's a pulse going on so things you need to practice in the bass would be drone accents and pulse you can put them in the same package pulse could be used as a build up the drone could start perhaps the accents provide that energy and the pulse makes it very epic the three things i want you to practice in the left hand with all the note groupings of the right hand so to give this a spin in the right hand with the other note sets you can do it over the minor pentatonic pulse in the bass accents 5 3 meets 5 Also do it over the minor chord. You can also do something completely unrelated in the left hand. Maybe more on that in another lesson. Right, guys. So we've pretty much conquered the time signature of four by four, where we have eight group uh, or eight groups of notes. We can also do sixteen groups of notes. That'll want to add some semi quavers as well. For example, one two three, 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 one two three four, one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three four, one two. So three fours are twelve plus four equals sixteen. So you can explore sixteen and just tell yourself, how do I use the numbers two, three, four, five to eventually equal to 16 so maybe you can do 4 meets 3 let's see 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and then uh, meets 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 5 so how much have we got there we've got 12 so end with a what 4 right 12 plus 4 is 16 so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so you can build your own patterns just by doing the maths just by having you anyway you have the note sets you you just use the numbers 2 3 4 5 use corner call to help you count better and sky is the limit in terms of the number of patterns you can create you just need that n number so for example even if i take a smaller number like 6 you can do 6 as 4 meets 2 right or 2 meets 4 or 3 plus 3 so let's see how that goes 3456123456123 so that's your four set that's your two set and i'm embellishing the music with the accents in the bass you can also do the uh, two meets four or the rather boring Three meets three has its flavor. Let's look at a five-time signature. 
What am I doing? Taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta right? Taka taki ta taka taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka ta. Or I can flip that around and do taki ta taka 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 taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka ta. Let's pack up with maybe a seven beat phrase, which could be one two three four, one two three, one two three four, one two three. Taka dimi taka ta, dimi taka ta, taka dimi taka ta, taka dimi taka ta. That's four meets three, or I can do three meets four. Taka ta, taka juno, taka ta, taka juno, taka ta, taka juno, taka juno, taka ta, taka juno, taka ta, taka dimi taka ta, taka juno, taka ta. And to do the pulse with seven by eight, you'll have to imagine it as crotchet. So it'll resolve only after two bars of seven by eight. Or you could look at the left hand as a seven by four. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. and it resolves only after two cycles of seven by eight, right? Now it's actually more important to combine pitch accents, which is that pitch grouping, alongside volume. Otherwise, you won't feel it much, you know. So accents can also have the combos. You can use all the properties of music. Pitch is what we've been doing in this lecture for the most part, but you can also do volume. And when you whack the left hand with its accents, anyway, volume is coming into the party. So there's pitch, there's volume, there's also the length of the note, duration of the notes. So all of this can create change. Or in simple words, these are literally the only controllable properties of music. If you think about it, if you're playing an instrument, what can you possibly control? If you ask me, just the volume of what you play. The pitch of what you play, so volume will be how loud or soft. You're asking that question. Pitch would be again pretty binary. I want to go higher or lower, right at the at the outset. And then you have duration, which is how long or short the thing should be, right, guys? So do consider getting yourselves a copy of the handwritten notes. It'll break things down better for you because I've included the note set in the right hand or the note sets, the three of them, and the patterns in the left hand. We also have some staff notation which will help you with a lot of the patterns covered in this lesson thus far. Thanks a ton for watching the video. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.